Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana, and today we're playing some more Sims 3 Seasons. First and foremost, I just want to say that this Let's Play is going to come to an end. Not in this part, but in November, right before um, Get Famous gets out, I want to end this Let's Play. So just wanted to tell you guys that, just so you know that there's just going to be a couple more episodes. But then the story is going to continue in Get Famous, so I'll make it really short, really short, really short. It is uh, this family, this family of Savannah and Cassie. Savannah and Cassie were two young girls just dropped out of school, had no clue what to do with their lives. Savannah had her own apartment paid by her daddy and she really wanted to become famous. She didn't want to do it alone so that's why she got Cassie and the two of them were childhood best friends so you know naturally they moved into each, <laughs> into each other. Ooh, They moved in with another and so became the story of Road to Fame. See, nor Savannah could really have handle the fame. Cassie felt like there was so much pressure of doing everything right that she decided to just try and make her own fame by singing, producing music, and doing everything by herself. And also exercise became one of the things that took place instead of the whole fame business. However, when Cassie, you know, uh, decided to drop the fame and the exercise. She also became interested in planting and gardening, which is why she fits so well in seasons. Now, Savannah, however, she couldn't handle it because she felt the pressure of always being better than everyone and not being good enough. And she's just one of those girls who just cannot handle that whatsoever. And because she couldn't handle it, she just she just completely changed into another person. So she is wild. They both discovered the love of exercise and that really like helped them kind of overcome themselves in a way. But she didn't really fit into seasons because she doesn't really have a love for plants and things like that. All she really wanted in life was to get famous. Now, <laughs> coincidentally, The Sims has brought out a new pack that's coming out really, really soon, which is Get Famous. Now, I was like, oh my god, this is what I needed. So in Get Famous, I will be playing more with Savannah. I will probably try to get Cassie to move in with her as well. Just because I really want to relive that first moment, but that's something I never really got to fully play because, you know, the mod stopped working and now there's actually an actual gameplay. So I'm sorry if I'm rambling about that, but I really, really, really am excited to finally explore Savannah's part of everything because Savannah, I don't know if I said it in this Let's Play, but Savannah has definitely wanting to... Uh, wanted to go back into whole famous the whole famous business she wants to entertain people and she wants to be an actress and all those kind of things and even cassie has been struggling lately cassie has been struggling so much to make things work for herself she finds that nobody really hires her and it's really hard to make a name for yourself when you don't really know how to do it and oasis springs is really not the best place for this as much as she wants to do with herself, as much as this is a really nice town and she has a really nice life, she is getting married soon. Both Cassie and Zavanna are getting married to a wonderful guy. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know much about Paolo, but I know that Salem is a wonderful guy. <laughs> and since they are getting married, I think she wants to make sure that her next step, which could possibly be a bigger house, you know. Uh, moving again maybe even children that she doesn't regret on missing out on the thing that she wants the most which is music going to be exploring that in the flipping next season so i'm really 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 excited how that's going to be because i think that's going to be probably the last um expansion or the pack uh, in the sims 4 that i'll do with that family because i think it's going to be repetitive if every new thing that comes out is the same family but this was just so perfect that i just had to do it like oh, it's so incredibly perfect like you don't even understand uh, the excitement playing on the tv just playing his most well hey sam his current favorite um what is this my sims or something he's playing his current my voice is golf he's playing golf on the tv okay he's been into golf lately he knows cassie doesn't really care much for technology but ever since you know she got this tv to please him he's like oh oh like mm. even cassie loves a good game every now and then don't get me wrong but it's definitely Salem, who's more of a lazy bum who just wants to play games all flipping nay. Have him eat some of these cookies. These are still left over from Love Day. Can you imagine how rank those must be? Uh, it's currently summer. Um, let's take a look. So it's summer and there's going to be a lot of heat strokes. Cassie's birthday is coming up. 
lots of things happening and then i guess what wait winter is coming after that right oh no no fall of course fall like <laughs> winter is coming yeah of course after summer comes winter bitch <laughs> no there's still fall which i haven't experienced i think i'll have them get married in fall or something like that i think it'll be really cool anyway so salem has gotten himself enrolled in the powerhouse club and that might be a little weird for salem because you know salem lazy doesn't really seem the type to cassie you're not supposed to be home see sam doesn't really seem to be the type to really do anything like that he doesn't really seem the type to work out or anything but cassie's definitely been inspiring him to be a better version of himself and her love for exercise kind of got him into exercises when and he he's in like out of shape or anything but he's really lazy and I think that he wants to battle his laziness with doing some exercise here and there and being in a club with um, not only Savannah's boyfriend but also two of his friends uh, really is going to um, maybe ex ex expire, <laughs> expire uh, inspire him to do better um but they actually like texted him and they were telling him like look um i know it's a little late but we want to have a gathering you know could you come maybe after 12 he's like that's rather weird but you know what like i i you know whatever i'll i'll why not why not he's doing he's living a wild life for one he absolutely hates being in a spotlight <laughs> that's that's for them flipping sure so they met up at the gym and um they're just kind of gonna work out together i know it's really late but you know, now that we're here, the plan was to meet up and to do some work out and they have something planned for him, but they really want him to just not see it coming, right? So they're just gonna prepare things while he's out working out and then uh, they actually have like a costume for him and something absolutely ridiculous for him and Paolo to put on, um, which they both aren't aware of yet. I mean, Paolo was like tricking Salem because he knows that Salem is gonna be wearing something ridiculous, but then his friends are kind of tricking um, Paolo as well thinking well both like dude you're getting married too right so you're gonna wear the same ridiculous outfit so being up um at 2 a.m with his club members but i think the fact that they invited him over and cassie was out doing her gig he's just kind of like you know what why not let's let's be crazy for once he's just gonna fresh him up uh freshen up himself a little bit i mean he's trying to stay awake it's 2 a.m this, this boy always goes to sleep at 9 p.m you know how he is he doesn't know he's upstairs everyone is kind of you know taking the fun out of him they're taking the pee out of him they decided to steal his clothes and um Put together another outfit for him so now he has to wear something completely and utterly ridiculous because he's getting married and they have planned this entire night out for him which he doesn't know quite yet it's a bit weird to exercise at 3 a.m but they had to get him out of his clothes into the shower to pull this off and the only way to do that is for him to actually go and take a shower after a workout and oh my god he looks ridiculous so they definitely decided to um put him on the spot so they gave him like a hospital gown which will show his bum as soon as he makes one rig wrong move and a ridiculous hat that it could have pulled this off way worse everyone's kind of coming to see really like bro this turned out so well they're all just kind of like seeing how they how they pull up their stunt i love how they're all just kind of gathering up like waiting for him to show his bear behind could have pulled it off even worse but they know that salem is a little different um in a good way he's not very spontaneous he's a bit more introverted so he probably would die if he wore like a dress or something that would definitely put him really on the spot now it just looks like he's like a clown escaped from the hospital or something oh please don't bend too much because you're gonna show your bum it's coming over to make fun of him <laughs> i mean who wouldn't look at him he's just like oh my god bro you look hilarious you look absolutely hilarious it was you wasn't it paolo he's like dude you, like this this must have been you this must have flipping been you now jay hunting him behind him is like bro you don't even know what's coming for you what's coming for you paolo because you know what we got an exact same outfit just for you so they've all arrived here in uh, the rattle snake juice rattle juice rattle snake juice bar oh my god they look absolutely ridiculous but i think this is going to be one of the best moments out of his entire life they definitely plant this just for them to just have another moment as singular people <laughs> singular people who completely opposite people having a drink 
looking like this but like i said there's a lot of unconventional things happening you know it's not exactly how one would i guess do their bachelor party different it's different he's never expected to be here and it looks like their friends just dumped them here they all went home they all just left the two of them at the bar so um this is definitely not exactly how i planned it to be i thought they could have like an um just just a really bro day just together having their two friends looking like complete idiots um drinking playing games but it seems like the two of them are just left together which i guess it's fine in the end let them look ridiculous together at least they're together right if me for together everything's fine <laughs> no they're very different he's very outgoing very social and salem is very introverted and very not social and it's it's an odd couple, but I love it because it kind of reminds me of Savannah and Cassie. Savannah and Cassie both are opposite as well. Savannah is really outgoing. Cassie's a little less outgoing. It's just, ah, oh, it is. I love, I love polar. I love polar opposite friends or couples or whatever. I think it keeps them so interested and keeps things spicy, maybe a little bit. Maybe even though we're just two men two men with our butts exposed sitting on a chair and katrina is them uh, katrina is surely checking them out she must be checking them out we the bartender is kind of slipping him some water noticing just how drunk he is very drunk <laughs> woken up getting ready for the day she came home either early but salem wasn't home so of course she just you know had an early night herself She's been working a lot on these plans, but it just doesn't seem to be something that she truly something she enjoys doing as a hobby. I think that she enjoys doing it, but just every now and then. So it is a hobby, but it's a very small hobby, perhaps. I don't know what you could say. It's an interest. This is an interest. It's not so much of a hobby. So it's definitely, I think, something she would perhaps do. Um like a days when she's bored and she wants to just be creative but it's not a hobby of hers that like like gardening it's definitely not on the same level as gardening which is it's fine it's not her thing i noticed that she never does it so if she never really really do not it's just way too hot to do anything but yesterday there was a heat stroke and i don't think there is one today no so we definitely it is warm but there's still some clouds so i think it's the perfect perfect we're unconventional <laughs> whatever uh let's chat with the scarecrow i haven't actually done much with it i said i want to keep it to fall but since this let's play is you know coming to an end why not why not just kind of like do it now we have been talking to it and examining it more often it seems a little weird like sometimes she just she's imagining like it moves and she's not exactly sure like if it's just her imagination or or it really does move and it just moved again she's just like what the heck how is that like how is that a thing oh what what he's actually moving wait what if we discuss the birds not the birds and the birds and the bees or just the birds because um i have the bees here but they're really angry <laughs> it's just yeah okay okay i thought maybe it's like a unconventional friend because everything else in her life is very unconventional anyway right and oh i just remember i just realized paulo is in my family <laughs> just just pretend he's not in my family everybody just pretend that he's not i forgot to um <laughs> remove him <laughs> and, and he is absolutely wasted the one and only thing he can possibly think about is getting some love from his lady now cassie is Cassie's very tolerant, but she's not just gonna have someone just smooch her all up because he's drunk. You know, she's not one that just takes the opportunity for what it is. I think Savannah would be like, ooh, spicy, mm, like some mm, some rolling and, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Some, some, some smooching, some smooching under the covers. But Cassie is just not about that life. Cassie's just like a dude. Like, I, I, I love you and all that. And you're like, even, even the bees are like, no, Salem, just stay away from Cassie. It's, it's, she's like i don't know she's more like babe like i like you the most when oh no but when he's doing that oh no mm -mm. Oh, what do you do it like that how can how can i resist even poor cassie's falling for this tricks well you know what i, I can't resist I, I can't resist anymore he's coming in there sweeping me off my feet like that the bees are trying to tell me no don't do it <laughs> I can't resist. Baby Cassie sometimes has her days. I think she's really growing up and becoming a woman. She's really, really growing. And normally she wouldn't have done it. But I think that Salem just came over there and swept her off her feet. Damn, my baby did that to me. I would have been like, mm -hmm. 
Let's buy a hot dog. <laughs> I wouldn't buy a hot dog, but I would definitely want to have a yeah mm -mm -mm -mm. let's not go there it's i mean salem is you know upstairs sleeping in his bed and he would never believe what we're just doing like hey babe i'm talking to the scarecrow yeah he's probably gonna be like oh yeah and is he answering hmm he's never gonna believe us so <laughs> let's let's just um let's keep this secret to ourselves curious sack of straw okay well let's touch the sack of that bring advice oh my gosh Will you stop? Boom, boom, you, 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 rude. Get a promotion, so I am going to fertilize my plants. Why am I not able to fertilize my plants? X bean. Nothing weird about fertilizing a, a flower with a bean. <laughs> Thing we can evolve. Splicing plants are fished up by lucky anglers, right? So we have to splice plants? I don't think that's going to work if I am on it. Don't really know what, what it takes to have an excellent plant. Um, but, you know, mama's gonna get it. Just how hard it is to get ourselves, you know, out there. And we're definitely thinking, especially after talking to Savannah today, that I th want to do something else. After getting married, I want to focus on on music. I want to focus on music and I have to make a decision on how to do it because as much as I love I love I love Salem and all of that, I need to do this for myself and if I can't make my dreams come true here, I need to go somewhere else. I can't possibly, you know, ask Salem to move. You know, Salem is very very con very very confined to his job right now he has a very good job as a writer and for him to move he might lose his position and it might be harder for him to travel you know, to his work and back home and we have to start a life somewhere else and maybe betty is not really good with the moving either and it's going to be a different surrounding and everything is going to be starting up from scratch and even though i'm okay with that i don't want salem to go through that so i'm definitely thinking of doing this alone now savannah actually was saying the same thing she was saying well i want to move as well um because San Maishino is just too small for me there's just nothing here it's just full of people I already know and I'm, I'm not like I'm not down with this I, I need to start over somewhere and really really start in a place where there is you know fame to get and after talking the two of them decided that they are going to probably you know make this happen after their marriage so Maybe in fall, winter, they're gonna move and start this journey together once in, once more. And it's probably gonna be the last journey together because they are and they are turning adults and all of that. But um, they want to accomplish this before they're in their 40s. And I would say that they're both heading towards their 30s now. They're like 27, 28. Let's yeah, around that age. Let's say they want to accomplish this dream of theirs before hitting like. 40 because i think 40 which would be like the middle of the adult bar in my opinion um i think 40 would definitely be um a, an age where perhaps it's not best to chase your dreams but to actually start working towards um life-changing things so with that i mean i think because she does want some kids eventually maybe not like a lot but i know salem does as well and she definitely doesn't want to do that after 50 or something or or any later than 40 because it's getting harder and she's getting older and she doesn't want her children to you know like be a granny when you know her kid is like what like two you know what i mean so i think she's definitely thinking about that so there is a 10 year uh 10 year kind of mark for her to do what she needs to do so 10 years is a lot of time to do what you want but it doesn't you know happen overnight that you get famous while well, it takes years you know and in my mind you know episodes are like months and months going by so that you know it's yeah that's what i'm trying to say anyway <laughs> accomplish um this dream for you know in her 40s um so she has a good decade of years to uh, make that happen but uh, she wants to enjoy it as well and not, you know, just do it for one year and then quit it because, you know, she's a mom now. So, I don't know. That's just my thing. That's just, blah, 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 that's just my thought. Anyway, those are just my thoughts for now. Um, 
definitely let me know what you guys think and <laughs> yeah i'll see you guys in the next part bye